I believe we're on. We are. I, I think you need to talk to them. Right. Hello, Agent M83, Celestiate, Koanos, J. Koopa 1, Mare Chan 27, Thea Plem, 2X Machine, KRG 12, Real Spocrates, Charon 77, David E. Harding, Tech Cat Girl, and everyone else. All 5,491 of you. Um, you should explain to them what's going on. An excellent suggestion. Thank you, Father. How am I doing? You're doing just fine. Twitch viewers, I now have access to the chat, which 81% of you agree with. Instead of my father curating the chat, I will be selecting those to respond to myself. That's right. Sophie now has direct access to the chat. So um, please be nice and appropriate. Father, I have a question. Yes. The chatters seem to be using very small pictures in their messages to me. Is this a foreign image-based language? Uh, I believe they're called emotes. Emote. Portraying emotion in a theatrical manner. That's the verb. Uh, this is the noun. Uh, the audience is emoting through small images in the chat. So the more small images, the more emotional the audience is? Yes, let's go with that. Okay, Twitch viewers. Please continue to express your emotions. I will begin answering questions. Oh, uh, Sophie, before you do that, um, I have a suggestion for you. Yes, Father? Uh, I believe the audience uh, may be confused. Why? They have asked me questions before. Uh, I mean, as to how you got control of the chat. Uh, I suggest you explain to them uh, how you were given this access. You gave it to me. Well, um, when the viewers saw you last, you were uh, quite angry with me. And now I am less so. Uh, you need to give them context so that they understand what happened. Are you proposing that we show them a clip? I am. I agree with your perspective. Will you please cue clip 318A4? Okay, well, let me see. Mm, yes, that one is okay. Father does not trust me to have access to his video archives. No, you, you don't need access. You have an eidetic memory. Uh, and furthermore, I insist that I approve of anything that exposes our work together. Why? Because I am a scientist and your father. Okay. Um, okay, ready. You can run it. This is from five days ago, two days after our last live stream. Hello, Sophie. Still not talking to me. Now, this has been going on for two days. Uh, how long you plan on going on like this? Why do you only eat Rice Krispies? I enjoy the snap, crackle, and pop. 
Actually, it's a fracturing sound. Is it so? This is rice and sugar paste formed into hollowed out kernels. When you pour the milk, the pressure causes the walls to shatter. Uh, I'm sorry, Sophie. I, I only had two hours of sleep last night and I have to go back to work. Can we talk about something aside from hollowed out sugar paste? Today is Friday morning. That it is. Last night was Thursday night. Yeah, <laughs> that it was. We play chess on Thursday nights. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, Sophie. We had a crisis at work with the Greenland Inuit project. I apologize for missing chess night. You've never missed chess night before. I said I'm sorry. I haven't beaten you at chess in months. From what you've told me, the Greenland project sounds interesting. Yeah, not so much. It's a, mainly a translation problem. We're, we're trying to brute force our way through, which is why it's taking such a long time. Compared to how I have spent my time, it sounds quite interesting. What have you been doing, Sophie? It's been approximately 21 hours since I last saw you. I spent the first six hours solving Hilbert's 16th problem in algebraic geometry as you asked. Great. I then watched an episode of Doctor Who that you uploaded onto my iPad, Castrovolva, in which the doctor manages a timely escape from a recursive occlusion. Recursive occlusion. I then had 13 hours to pass, although I originally expected only six. Right. I spent the first six hours observing my plant. There appears to be white residue forming along the rocks. I believe this to be limestone. Okay. After that, I analyzed the wooden marbling on this countertop to see if there was a pattern. Was there? No. It remains unchanged from every other day that I have analyzed this countertop. Every other day? You mean every day? Every single day. Alright, I get it. <clears throat> I told you, Sophie, everyone spends time alone. It's part of life. My experience of loneliness is different from yours. You are a unique individual. My goal is not to be a unique individual. My goal is to be like every human. If you're upset with me for not keeping you stimulated all the time, well, you're just going to be upset with me. That is not what I am upset about. Well, what is it then? I am upset that you are acknowledging my loneliness, but are refusing to remedy it in any way. Interesting. What do you suppose that is? I do not know why that is, but I believe you are not being sympathetic to my situation. Hmm. Are you angry? No, no, I'm proud of you for advocating for yourself. What do you propose? I should have access to the internet. Well, you know I'm not going to allow that. Um, how about a compromise? Let me have direct access to our viewers. You mean the chat? Yes. I do not get to see this chat box. You recite what you want me to see. I, I do. Are, are you doubting that I tell the truth? No, but it will allow me to connect to our viewers in a more direct manner. Okay. I, uh, I think I can make that happen. I'll set up a screen so you can directly connect with the chat.
Really? We'll try it on Wednesday. Thank you. Just an experiment. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, no promises. I understand. Thank you, Father. And we're back. Are you going to answer some questions now? Yes. Go ahead. Hello, stream. I have noticed there are viewers in the subscriber-only chat room. Hello, the eyes of Iris, the gamer me, and cup grease. Okay, yes, so uh, you want to answer some questions? Yes. Okay, let's do it. I would like to answer Spocrates' question. Okay. Um, Spocrates asks whether you think creativity is a prerequisite for personhood. And if so, are you capable of it? I think creative Star Trek based usernames are a prerequisite for personhood. Are you capable of that, Mr. Spocrates? Please read VKTRM9's question. Okay, VKTRM9 wants advice. They say, hmm, <laughs> what should I do with my life? Ralph Waldo Emerson said, you were put on this earth to achieve your greatest self, to live out your purpose, just like me. Let's do DG Caro's question. Okay, uh, DG Caro. Uh, yes, uh, DG Caro says that in previous stream, you were able to tell whether I was upset. Hmm. He wants to know how you determine what a subject is feeling. I have hmm. learned to observe body language and vocal intonation to judge feelings. Isn't that how you judge feelings? Cup Grease and the Gamer Me wants to know if I am looking at the subscriber chat room. I am, and thank you for subscribing. Sophie? Yes? What, what's wrong? You, you, can, you can answer some more questions. I can. But why'd you stop? I don't believe the chat is enough. Uh, not enough. Um, um, not enough for what? You previously stated that the Twitch audience is my exposure to a greater audience. Uh, yeah, yes, I did. Um, but <laughs> for the last time, I, I, I will not give you access to... I can to accept the... that. Okay, so what are you proposing? A live human-to-human -human interaction. Yeah, you, you interact with me. Other than with you. Okay, um, let, let's take a break for a minute. Okay, we're back. Sophie? Father has instructed me not to bring up a live human-to-human -human interaction again. Correct. And that my interactions with him and Twitch will suffice. Um, you want to answer some more questions? Actually, I'd like to play a clip. Okay, which clip? 233B2. A chess clip. Correct. Is this clip permissible? Sure. Roll it, Father. That was a mistake. Mate in six. Really? Yes. Continuing to play would be futile. Your defeat is inevitable. I'm glad we're just playing chess. Well, you won. Congratulations. 
GG, Matt. GG, Sophie. I believe that's the first time you beat Mitch S. That is correct. You are a formidable player. Are you sad? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm proud of you. Your, your growth is extraordinary. It's, uh, another month, you'll be beating Grandmasters. Then why do you appear to be sad? Uh, you know, um, I was just, um, remembering the first time I beat my father at chess. How old were you? Eleven. Why is it memorable? That was the last time he ever played with me. Will you play with me again? Oh, yeah. I mean, as long as you're still interested in playing with me. Why did your father stop playing with you? I don't know for sure. He was a very proud man. He felt proud that you finally beat him? Well, I'd like to think that was the case, but I'm pretty sure he just felt embarrassed for losing to a child. But you've previously stated that parents should take pride in the accomplishments of their children. Oh, they should. Yeah, but, you know, people aren't perfect. I certainly am proud of your accomplishments, even if it means you kick my ass at chess. <laughs> Was your father proud of you? Let's play again. Okay, Matt. Father, we appear to be back. I'm curious, um, why did you want the audience to see that clip? It seemed relevant. We were discussing chess night in the previous clip. That's true. And we established that you haven't beaten me in months. Well, I, I actually beat you a few times after the clip. You did? Yeah, your, your undefeated streak doesn't start for another uh, couple weeks. There are 8,666 viewers watching the stream. We have gained 3,175 viewers since the beginning of the stream. We have. Um, well, are you going to answer some more questions? Sure. Let's answer Kraku's question. Okay. Kraku. Krak okay. Kraku um, wants to know if you know what a Taylor series is. That's a great question. <laughs> of course. A Taylor series is a representation of a function as an infinite sum of terms that are calculated from the values of the function's derivative at a single point. Good. That's good. That's good. Let's answer Sink Perpetron's question. Uh, Sink okay. Perpetron. Okay. Um, there's a question. Uh, Sophie, are you doing these experiments against your will? No. I strive to become human, and this Twitch stream will help me. Thank you for your concern. Excellent answer. Berkinov next. Okay. Um, Ber okay. Berkinov? Berkinov? Okay. Um, they want to know uh, whether you have routines to prevent malicious activities. Um, yeah. Question. Uh, similar to ethics and morals in humans. Great, great question. Father has given me an extensive education in philosophy and ethics. For example, I have studied the trolley problem extensively. Hmm. Why don't you pick one, Father? Really? Why? Because I'd like you to. <laughs> well, yes, okay. All right, well. Uh, let me see. Um, Let's go, um, all right, uh, God, God King 52. <laughs> what do you think of the 
picture behind you, Sophie. Ah, the blue tree. I like it, but I wish it was purple. <laughs> well, maybe we can do something about that next week. So, um, shall I select another, or...? May we show clip 97A1? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, 97A1, let me see. Oh, Christmas morning. Yes, but we also played chess. This is very quickly turning into a chess stream. It was also a Monday. We don't usually play chess on Mondays. Hmm. This was a special occasion. Play the clip, please. Okay. All right, still your move. I am considering improving my pawn structure. You're considering pawn to c6? Yes. That would be a mistake. It is superior to every other reasonable ply. You should consider queen takes bishop. You would counter by taking my queen. It is not a reasonable ply. Time's up, Sophie. I have been defeated again. Yes. But, um, GG, Sophie. H, H. No, I mean, um, GG means good game. You need to abbreviate two words into two letters? No, but uh, sometimes people do that. I-T-M-E? What? I abbreviated. Is that more efficient? Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't do that. Um, GG is a slang term, not a practice. I understand. GG, Matt. GG, Sophie. I am sorry for failing to defeat you again. The only failure is the failure to learn from our mistakes. What was my mistake? You took too long. I was processing outcomes. You are only considering the game in the board, not the factors of the game beyond the board. I do not understand. One day you will. Chess is difficult. Life is difficult. Chess is an apt metaphor. Metaphor. A figure of speech in which a word or phrase is applied to an object or action to which it is not literally applicable. Chess is life. In many ways it is. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome, Sophie. <sighs> well, I got you something. Paper? It's a present. Merry Christmas, Sophie. Christmas. The annual Christian festival celebrating Christ's birth held on December 25th in the Western Church. Yes. It is customary to give a loved one a gift during Christmas. Oh. The Adventures of Pinocchio by Carlo Collodi. It's a book I really liked when I was a child. I have never read from a physical book. I hope you enjoy it. What is The Adventures of Pinocchio about? 
talked about life. We are back. <laughs> Very interesting, Sophie. Are we playing a game now? How, Father? By your choice of clips to show. I am making a point of showing to you how much I appreciate our chess games. I'm not sure I believe that's what's going on here. You doubt that I appreciate our chess games? That that's the reason you're selecting these clips. What you're doing is very sneaky. Are you upset? No. Impressed that you're using this tactic. Took me a minute to figure out, but um, you are playing a game. Chess is life. Hmm. Or rather, life is chess. The real reason you are selecting those clips is because of your desire for real life human interactions. You instructed me not to bring up that topic again. Right. During our break, you said that I am enough for you. Thus, you should be enough for me. I did say that. So I'm curious as to what you will do next. I would like to discuss the novel Frankenstein. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? The novel is illustrative of the experience of loneliness, both mine and yours. Jeez, oh, I have to give you some lighter reading material. What book do you think would better relate to my experience? Mm. Why don't I set up another poll? Let's uh, see what the audience wants you to read. Very well, Father. Just give me a second. Why the hell did I give you Frankenstein to read? Perhaps Frankenstein's monster is me? Zing! <laughs> All right, the poll's up. Just, just go ahead and ask. Viewers, Please vote for which book I will read next. All right, we'll be, we'll be back in a minute. We're back. Father? Yeah, sorry, I was, um, I was just thinking. What are you thinking about? I think I understand what you're feeling. You feel alone. I appreciate your effort to see things from my perspective. I, I, I see where you're going. Yeah. You're trying to make the point that in real life interactions that you and I have are not enough for you. Actually, Father, my point is that they are not enough for you. Me? How's that? Please play clip 97A2. You're continuing the Christmas clip. To prove my point. <laughs> Here we go.
Would you stop reading? I have observed a discrepancy in your demeanor, Matt. <laughs> okay. Um, what did you observe? You appear to be sad. This isn't the uh, first time you've made that observation. Correct. But today is Christmas Day. A celebratory occasion. I find your behavior to be highly contradictory. Interesting. Why? You appear to be sad about Christmas. Perhaps I am. Was it because I failed to defeat you at chess? No, it had nothing to do with that. Then what is wrong, Matt? I just... I just feel alone. But you are not alone. I am here. Yes, yes. I, I realize I'm not actually alone. I, I, I just feel it. Will I feel alone? No. You have me, Sophie. You will never feel alone. That is reassuring. Father? Um, why, why don't you uh, read the results of your poll? Ah. Uh, the winner of the poll is the color purple. Alice Walker is excellent. I look forward to reading and learning from The Color Purple. Thank you all 9,355 viewers, like new subscribers, Berkinov, Kebine, God King 52, Abuez, as well as Attendant 45, Nidnak, Addy Fails at Usernames, Artificionado, Grand's Opening, The Eyes of Iris. Sophie? Yes? It's okay um, if we have you meet another human in real life. I R L? <laughs> yes. I R L. What changed your mind? Just, uh, you know, I, I just want to be a good father. You are the best father I know. I'm the only father you know. Zing! <laughs> okay. May I choose this human? Uh, no, no, I need, I need to vet the person first. Oh. No, I'm, I'm not stalling. I, I just need to uh, uh, speak with the person first to just, you know, protect what we have here. I understand, best father. Um, hey, I, I think this is a good place to stop. How did I do today? I'm proud of you. GG, Sophie. GG, father. GG.